All right, so I'm going to quickly show you how to configure the MicroTik for um, L2TP client connections, uh, mainly focusing on Windows clients, uh, much to the chagrin of all of you Mac guys out there and Linux guys, although I'm sure it translates just the same. So uh, we're going to start out with PPP. You're going to click over to L2TP server, crank that baby on. You see the default profile. You can change this, but for this example, I'm just going to use the default profile. So default encryption. Next, I'm going to go over to uh, the, let's see, I'm going to go to IP pools. I'm going to create an address pool first. And I click here, and I'll name it VPN pool, because you can share this pool with, say, PPTP clients too, as, as well if you want. And we'll make it 10.10.10.2, .10 .10 why not, to 10.10.10.2. 10 uh, to 54. That sounds fun. So we've got our VPN pool. And these are the addresses that are going to be handed to the clients as they connect. So default encryption, we're going to set it to 10, 10, 10, 1. And remote address, we're going to set it to VPN pool. So it'll just be something out of the pool. Uh, DNS servers, 8888, 8844, those are going to be the Google ones. We'll just use those easy enough and we actually went and created the pool first that way it would just show up in our drop down because we're lazy like that and we'll create an account really quick I'll name it test I'll make the password test service any leave all that stuff default that's fine so <clears throat> let's see now so when a user actually logs in via L2TP they can uh, authenticate using this test and test. You can also set up um, radius based authentication so you can actually have it authenticate off a of Windows domain if you like. So we set up our PPP. Now uh, L2TP uses IPsec for its encryption so we're gonna go to IPsec. We're gonna add a peer. We're gonna leave it 000 forward slash 0 that means anybody. Pre-shared key. We're gonna set it to test just for fun. Uh, we're going to change the exchange mode to main mode L2TP. Um, and if any of your clients are going to be connecting from behind a NATA device, which are, since these are going to be road warriors, probably most of them are, so you're going to go ahead and enable NAT traversal. And on here, for our hash algorithm, we need to change this to SHA. Leave it triple des. Diffie Hellman group should be fine, and then generate policy. This generate policy will, upon the client's connection, set everything up in the policy tab for us automatically. One other thing we need to do is in proposals, we just had it set to the default uh, proposal. We need to SHA triple des. Those are fine, but we actually need to turn off perfect forwarding secrecy. Let's go ahead and set that to none and say OK. And that should conclude the configuration portion on the MicroTik. Now we just need to configure our Windows clients to connect in. Alright, now we're going to set up a new connection. So we're going to go to Open Network and Sharing Center and then set up a new network connection. It's going to be Connect to a Workplace VPN. And again, this is for our Windows 7. Next, no, create a new connection, VPN, whatever your IP address happens to be or whatever the DNS name. So if you're, if you've got something in DNS, you can my router dot din DNS dot org. Set it up for a test. Connect now, connect later. Username, remember we put test in test. Why not remember my password? Create, close, and then I'm going to find super test and I'll right click on it. Properties. We're going to go to security, set it to L2TP, advanced, use pre shared key, and it was test. And that's all we have to do. Say OK. And now we should be able to connect right in. Alright, setting up Windows XP. Uh, very similar. Right click on Network Places. Go to Properties. 
create a new connection next network in my workplace VPN this is going to be my router and we'll say again it's my router dot in dns dot org whatever your router happens to be do not use my smart card finish and go to properties let's see networking type of vpn is l2tp over to security ipsec and this is where we enter our pre-shared key of test okay and then this guy's going to be ready to go tomorrow that's it